Hey there everyone. So this time around I'll be reviewing this series called uh, Amulet by Kazu Kibuishi. And uh, there are 8 books in the series. The first one is the Stonekeeper. I'll be going through each book in, um, in order and then I'll be showing you the blurb on it. The back blurb. So I'll be showing you, <clears throat> I haven't yet read this series, I've started with the first book, I've, I've gone on to the second book and so far I'm loving it so I decided to review the whole series because I've got it with me. So going on to the first book's blurb, see here, hopefully it's focusing, let's see if I can focus it well, yeah. So there you go, you can pause it and read there <coughs> and I'll be showing you the artwork for this book. So it's a very clear kind of artwork. Of course there are levels of phantasm, fantastic uh, elements in it and it's the first book at least deals more with uh, technological fantasy than so it's sci-fi fantasy more of but it has elements of uh, magic in it as well and I'm I'm I, I'm love with the book the whole artwork the book so as far as I I could understand there are elves and there are pixies and then there are talking animals um, humanoid robots and then there's something called the the stone so this is the stone it's a very powerful magical artifact and then there's the stone keeper and that's what the story is about and how so the stonekeeper is very young she's 11 and how she grows up and deals with everything that's that's the story so this is the first book um see there should be an acknowledgement no there, there should be an author biography somewhere no there's no autobiography so anyway so this is the first book amulet <coughs> uh going on to the second book this is the cover art lovely cover art if you ask me and these uh, editions by scholastic are very nice um i i got i like i got seven six out of these eight books for very cheap uh, at around 100 or so per book but each book is not very costly either so they cost around um 250 300 350 at max for each book so i got the last two books very recently the last book i just got delivered today so i decided to uh, review this so you can see the artwork get the contrast right yeah and this last page end of book two a full two page cover I'm in love with this series, whole series, and I highly recommend it to everyone who, and anyone who is a uh, who who likes to read comic books and likes um, reads that are not very mature but um, has very interesting plot elements in it because the book the story is extremely well written. So in the first book, um, there's <coughs> there's actually. Uh, uh, review by Jeff Smith so he's the creator of Bone who highly recommends this book as well and uh, frankly my words do not carry as much weight as him so if you do not do not uh, want to believe me believe him instead lovely book great plot element and awesome storyline I highly recommend everyone and anyone to who is interested in comic books to read this series because it's totally worth it and for frankly for the price that you're getting it at this is this is this whole series is a steal so this is the fourth book and i haven't yet opened it uh the artwork is similar so i'll just give you the blurb oh i didn't give you the blurb at the end of the second and the third book i guess yeah so this is the blurb at the end of the second book yeah and i'll give you the blurb at the third book So that's on the third book. Similarly, the fourth 
and then there's a there's a fifth book. You see that? Very nice artwork, clean lines, lovely thing. Okay, I think I'll have to open this in order to <clears throat> give you the blurbs. So I'll, I'll just pause it here, I'll open it and then get back to the video. So coming back, I opened up the fourth book as well. So let's take a look through this. So, oh, interestingly, I feel that the artwork has uh, matured maybe a little bit. So th this is a case with a um, lot of series wherein the series, uh, gra graphic series or comics where the series spans over a uh, long number of books the artwork changes so I think the artwork has matured maybe a little bit from the previous books in this book in the fourth book but I love this overall I love this so that's the fourth book coming to the fifth book this is no that was the fourth book okay fifth book yeah this is the fifth book yeah so Prince of the Elves this fifth book I'll give you the blurb first so that's the blurb there it's uh, by graphics an imprint of scholastic if, as you can see here so <coughs> that's the hmm, that's the artwork inside oh it's a nice one nice I'm in love with the art artwork in this series and um, there are very few series I think that have uh, this kind of artwork Sean Tan, no not Sean Tan um, there is a book I can't remember the name maybe I'll, I'll try to um, write down the name in the comments so I, I did find a book like this with artwork like this before I'll try to link it in the comment section so this is book 6 Escape from Lucien give you the blurb so and I love the artwork at the back this is an artwork of the city I'm, I think this is Lucien so <clears throat> going through the artwork in the book so as you can see interesting I'm liking this series more and more maybe I'll finish in one go uh, the, uh, I finished like book one the book the first book took me around what 45 minutes half an hour to 45 minutes to finish the whole thing it might have taken me less but I try to go through the book in detail so it took me a little more so this was book six going to book seven okay this is red on black try to focus it a little bit maybe yeah so this is book six and <coughs> firelight so yeah similar artwork yeah this definitely looks more polished the artwork definitely looks more polished in this book than in the previous books maybe yeah <coughs> at least it does in my opinion and I can see it in its entirety in front of me so I might be biased though who knows maybe I'm being biased because I've seen this happen in other series as well so this is book 7 coming to the last book uh, Supernova Amulet by Kazuki Buishi number one New York Times best-selling author so I'll give you the blurb here Let's see, try to get this again And then I'll just go through the. So this is the last book. It ends here. And yeah, so it's about it. All eight books of Amulet. Um, as always, if you have any comments, any suggestions, anything to say at all, please feel free to comment down below the comment section. And uh, yeah, happy reading.